Hello and welcome back to New World Rum Club. This is Rum 360, where we look at all the particular details around a specific bottle of interest. Now today, we do have something special. It's from Velier, it's a Caroni from the Closed Distillery, and this is the Tasting Gang, a foolproof blended Trinidad rum. Now, why is Caroni of such interest? Well, it is a closed distillery, which means we are getting no more liquid out of this place. It closed in 2003 from when it was set operational from 1918. It's changed hands a multiple times where Tate and Lyle have had it, the government have had it, but fundamentally it closed its doors in 2003, leaving a warehouse full of barrels. Now the majority went to Angostorus, which is the other active distillery on the island. Um, but Luca from Velier did buy up a substantial amount of barrels, which is where the series started to begin. Now Caroni, is it for drinking? Is it for collecting? Is it for investing? Caroni on itself is quite a particular taste, especially when you look at large, heavy, long tropically aged rums. These are not for everyone. So to say that you've drunk an expensive bottle like this is, doesn't say that you'll like it. You know, these are really quite heavy. You talk about diesel, tar, rubber. You know, these aren't things that you really associate with a lot of the other rums on the market today. So for drinking, a particular and acquired taste, and mainly for people who really either like something like that or are really crony fans and like that profile of rum. Where you see a lot of this is the collections and the investments. Now I say this because on Whiskey 101, this is the only distillery that's traded there as a rum. You know, you've got something like 30 different whiskey distilleries that they track and look at the investments of the bottles. And Caroni is the only rum one on there, which shows you that it is a pinnacle or one of the key rums in the rum world for investments in collections. Now to try and collect the whole series, as I say, this is the 38, there's the 39. You go as it was released it was released with this one called the last as a pair there are so many of them and their retail prices are quite expensive to start off with so to try and collect everything is quite a big undertaking and a massive financial um, uh, yeah, pocket killer but people are doing that or they're collecting some of the series of it now this bottle in particular is limited to 5083 bottles What's more interesting is how they came up with that number. So it's from 22 barrels. And if I read from the bottle, it tells you what they did. So in Cognac on the 12th of April, 2019, 23 Caroni lovers from uh, diverse places across Europe, the tasting gang, met in Cognac to taste the last 173 Caroni barrels that came from Trinidad and Guyana. This rum is a blend of 22 different barrels that were previously a blend of light and heavy rums blended before being aged. So as you can see, right, this, this is a combination from people who love and uh, love, love Caroni, lived and breathed it through those very years and have come up with something quite specific in that case. It is a strong bottle of rum at car strength, it's 63.5% and it comes as the Euro EU standard of 70 centilitres. They have been doing some of the Caroni releases, especially the employee releases, as um, 20 centilitre bottles but that didn't happen for this one. Now this retailed at 370 pounds in the UK and you can still find it today. But as you can see from all Coronis, if you go onto the Whiskey 101, you'll start to see that these are only going to go up. And once they've sold out from general retail, then you know it is ever increasing. Have a look at the auction site, have a chat on, on the Caroni Forums Facebook page or on the Rum Lovers Facebook page you'll see that these are high in demand and traded regularly. Now this bottle is 23 years of tropical aging. That is massive. All right, so for that, 12 of the years were aged in Trinidad before moving over to DDL in Guyana, where it was aged for the last 11 years. Now, all of this is in ex-bourbon casks. It was distilled in 1996 and bottled and bottled in 2019 so that's your full 23 years with 23 years of tropical aging 85 percent of the bottle has gone to the angels now that is a huge amount and that is one of the key reasons why this is expensive rum and the fact 
that that is known more of it because it's closed distillery. But when you look at 85%, that is huge. Whiskey loses one and a half to two percent a year. This must be losing between six and nine percent a year to get down to that 85%. So should you buy a bottle of this? Look, if you want to try something to drink, go for it. You know, this is part pot, part column still, so it's not the heaviest of the heavy um, uh, coronies that are on offer today. But do understand that it is an expensive bottle and you've got to understand if you like the Coroni profile or not. So suggestion is if you want to try and drink this, try a different Coroni first, it's maybe a little bit cheaper or a sample. If you like that profile then maybe you go for this one. But where you do see this is in the collectors and especially in the investors. And you know it's the investors because of the, the, the whiskey sites and the auction sites. Go and have a look, increasing in value all the time. Sometimes someone dumps a load of stock on there, you might get something a bit cheaper, but really this is something that will go up in value over the next few years for the medium to long term especially. So that's it, that's the Velier Coroni Tasting Gang. Um, this is Run360 and I hope you've enjoyed this, um, this video. Uh, thank you and goodbye.